Restriction endonucleases are enzymes that cleave DNA at specific nucleotide sequences. The sequence recognized is often four to six nucleotides long. For example, the restriction endonuclease, ECOR1, recognizes the sequence GAATTC. The nucleotides at one end of the recognition sequence are often complementary to those at the other end. The two strands of the DNA duplex have the same nucleotide sequence running in opposite directions for the length of the recognition sequence. Because the same recognition sequence occurs in both strands of the DNA duplex, the restriction endonuclease can bind to and cleave both strands of the DNA molecule. Because the bond cleaved is typically not positioned in the center of the recognition sequence and the DNA strands are antiparallel, the cut sites are offset from each other. After cleavage, each DNA fragment has a single-stranded end a few nucleotides long and the single-stranded ends of the two fragments are complementary to each other. These single-stranded ends can pair with each other, sticky ends. Once their ends have paired, the two fragments can be joined together with the enzyme DNA ligase, which reforms the phosphodiester bonds of DNA. What makes restriction endonucleases so valuable is that any two fragments of DNA produced by the same restriction endonuclease can be joined together. Restriction endonucleases are fundamental tools in genetic engineering.